morning folks, um, it's just gone after 6am, I did have the room to myself last night, so uh, I'm up now, I've gone down and got my water from downstairs in the fridge, I'm going to take my painkillers, I'm going to have a shower and we're going to set off, it's about 20 kilometres today, 21 give or take, um, there's not a lot of water available on the way, so uh, trying to get going a wee bit earlier so it stays a wee bit colour, cooler and hopefully it stays a wee bit overcast but um, I'll see you on the route in a few minutes Good morning folks, I'm um, hoping you can see me, I'm looking at the lens so hopefully you can see me. <laughs> um, set off this morning just uh, before 7. It's a fairly steep climb up out of Nahara. Um and well it's set on the side of a hillside so you probably have, don't really have to guess. There's a big hill up behind me there, um, which I don't know how high it goes up. But we're going to find out. Um, trying to get to Santo Domingo de la Calzada and St. Dominic of the road. So it's about 20 21 kilometers. There's not much water on this route today. Uh, so I think I'll walk for a bit, I'll drink for a bit, and then as soon as I do get to the next sort of town. Uh, if there's a cafe or anything open there, um, I'll buy some water um, in case there's not a font. I don't want to be caught short. It's about 5.6, 5.7 kilometers to the first town, and then the next town after that's another nine or something. Um, then you have the last stretch again. So, yeah, welcome to what's looking like a very sunny. Day 12 of my Camino. Well, um, I'm about seven kilometers in now. Passed through the first town, stopped there, had breakfast. Um, and now I'm on the long hike. I think it's a, another nine kilometers or something. Nine, ten kilometers to the next town. Um, there's no more water fonts, but I still have a liter and a half on me. So hopefully it will last. Um, the sun's getting a wee bit higher now, so not be too long till I have to break out the hat. Nice day. Um, it's also starting to feel a wee bit more like the Camino, seeing the same sort of faces over and over again. Um, either they pass me or I pass them, which is nice. Um, I think it's a, it makes it a bit more comfortable when you're seeing the same people. So, I'm going to keep pushing on. When I get to the next town, then I think, because I still have a wee bit to go after that, I'll stop and have lunch. I'll have some bread, 
and my backpack behind me. I've bananas in there, I've butter in there. So I'll make a sandwich and then I'll push on to Santo Domingo. And depending on what time I arrive there, I may see if I get in the bus back towards Logroño and possibly even on to Los Arcos today. Um, if not, then I'll do that in the morning um, and head straight on down to Madrid. It's a bit of an abrupt end to the trip, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, it's been nice to be doing it again. Yeah. And it's lovely, lovely land to be walking through. Like there's nothing here other than cornfields and vineyards, which you can see being sprayed up ahead. So there's worse places in the world to be right now on a hot sunny day. looks like. I've been fittering about with the drum for a wee bit there. And about five, six pilgrims have passed me. So they're all up ahead. There are a few more behind as well. This is what it should be like. In fact, probably busier at the peak of the season. So this is a welcome change. A nice pleasant addition to the journey. I've seen more and more faces walking the path. So I've just passed through the town of Siruena, um, which means I'm home straight now to Santo Domingo, um, de la Caldaza, uh, which is another six kilometers thereabouts. And that's my 21 done for the day. Um, it's still relatively early. I think it's around 11 um, o'clock. So, uh, hopefully I'll be in the Santo Domingo by one, which should give me enough time to get a stamp, at least, somewhere. Um, have a wee bit of a rest, or maybe go and see about the bus. Uh, I think... I'll see if, if there is a bus. If there's not, then that's okay. I'll stay the night. But if there is a bus, then I'll get it to Lagrano. And then if there's a bus from there to Los Arcos, I'll take it. If there's not, then I'll stay the night in Lagrano. Uh, it's not a plan. It is sort of. It is. It is a plan, isn't it? Um, but it has all these options to it. So if one doesn't work out, something else will. Uh, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to knock myself out if it doesn't all work out. But it hasn't been a bad walk. It's been tough. Coming up the hill towards, there's a, like a golf course bit back there. And a bit of suburbia. Um, before. Siru. 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 Oh, wow. Look at yeah, it's got a, like a tilde on the end and stuff, so I'm not exactly sure how they work. Um, just drop water. 
So yeah, there's a bit of an urban bit up back of there, and I stopped and had some lunch. There's lovely Swifts playing. Um, so I'm going to keep walking now. All I can see ahead of me is more and more fields. Um, and it looks really, really nice, but it's really exposed. I can see three pilgrims up ahead. I know there was one more behind me there. Um, it's been quite a few today. It's been nice to see so many. And we see to, seem to be more in a group. Um, like, I mean, in the space of an hour of each other. Um, which is nice. It means we're all more compact. I uh, was speaking to a French lady there whenever I was having something to eat. Um, and she thinks there... She doesn't think there's more people on it now. She just thinks we're, we're just tighter together. And I'd probably have to agree. Um, between people catching up with others, walking at different speeds, some people walking slow, some people walking fast. You do get those sort of traffic congestion bits. So, we'll see how it goes. And um, worst comes to worst, I'll stay in Santo Domingo. Um, I think I've got a blister developing on, well, the foot that had blisters, I think they're growing a wee bit bigger. Um, I can feel it. The other leg feels fine, as long as I'm walking. So we'll see how that all goes. So that's me. I've arrived in Santo Domingo. I'm sat outside um, one of the entrances to the cathedral, but they didn't really let anybody in this way, um, it seems. So I'm going to try and find a bus station and start heading back. It means that when I come back here, I'll be able to save um, some of the time and actually go into the cathedral, have a look around there and I have something more to show you. I do have some footage of around the streets here, which I'll use that. Um, but for now, that's day 12 of my Camino finished. So I'm going to start uh, my journey home again. Thanks very much for following me and see you again soon.